Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, guys. And today we will uh, create a combo box um, application in CH vendor form, uh, and uh, we will we will populate this combo box using designer, and then we will create a second one and we will uh, populate it programmatically. So let's start. So first of all we will create a new pro uh, project file new new project and uh, we will name this project uh, uh, first of all we will select this window uh, forms app next and here we will get the application name as uh, um, combo box demo and now create now a form is created and uh, now we will drag a combo box to it combo box drag it here it is here uh, you can change the name of combo box from here uh, ps combo box now we, we will populate it from designer so I will click here and uh, use data uh, now I'll click on this data source. There is no data source. So add data source to project database and click next. And data set, click next. And uh, now we will create a new connection. New connection. Or I will check if there is a previous one. Yes, we have this uh, next and uh, subject reconnection saying save as yes now it will so now we will select the table from where uh, from which we want to um, populate it now this is this this police station table finish Okay, now display member is police station and where you remember is uh, piece ID. Now, if, is I, if I run this, let's see if uh, police stations are showing in this combo box or not. Now, it and build successfully and if I click on this I can see all the police stations here we can see all the police stations here now it is working so um, now we will create another combo box and populate it programmatically now we will copy and paste this uh, combo box uh, this here I will change the name of this uh, combo box uh, to this combo two two and uh, now we will write uh, some code in the form load method uh, so we will go to code this is form one load method so first of all we will create a scale connection so is cable connection con connection is equal to new is cable connection
connection semicolon we will import this uh, namespace okay now it expects uh, the uh, source string of the database or uh, you can say it uh, data source so if I come to this data source click on this and uh, it is not showing here if I come here to this F config I can point the data source here and uh, this is my connection string of for my data source so uh, I'll come here and uh, string um, con string is equal to I can retrieve this from uh, this app config file using configuration manager configuration manager I will import dot connection strings now here I will give the name of the connection string which is uh, which I can uh, take from here this is the name of the connection string you can see even the tag is also called name I will come here to manform.cs and I will remove this double quote and paste it and connection string semicolon now I will pass this connection string here mm, uh, con string this is a connection string okay now I will create now I will open this connection connection mm, dot open Now I will create a scale command. Now we take two parameters. Number one is the query. Static. Um, Police station, and the second parameter you take is uh, connection string connection. Uh, semicolon. Now we will create a SQL data reader. reader is equal to um, cmd dot execute reader now we will create a data table
Now we will load this reader into a stable. Now we will assign this uh, to ps combo2 as data source um, dot data source is equal to table let's run it and see if it is uh, populated the second combo box is populated now you can see both the combo box are populated this one is uh, graphically populated using designer and this is uh, uh, populated programmatically now we will uh, use click event on this uh, these both of these uh, combo box so click event go to designer and double click on this and go to design again and uh, double click on this the click in the event methods are created now when select index is changed we will produce a message box which show the value member and the display member both but before firing the um, these two methods we will uh, um, assign the display member and value member columns to the second combo box that we, which one is their display member and which one is uh, its uh, value member Now we will show a message box here. Let's run and see what it shows. Now oh, this, okay, it's only show the value member. Okay. And per uh, display member, we can only get it by. We will append it here. Put a space here. And plus uh, PS combo box uh, dot text. Now let's run it. Uh, if we run this. If I click this one, 
it is showing its ID and as well as its name which is its display member now if I click this now we will copy and paste the same code in the second uh, combo box click event now I will copy and paste this code in the second combo box click event and now I will change the name Now if I run this and let's see what happens. As you can see it is shown here yeah, if I click it is shown because the second uh, combo box is populated in the unload method of this form so when I and this method unclick method of second, uh, second combo box is uh, also called in unload okay now if I click on this it's showing three money okay and if I see click on this results so showing 11 at about okay so that's all for today we have created a combo box using a, a designer and also also using programmatically so please guys subscribe to my channel and support me um, like and share share my videos so that i can make more videos like this thank you